Hey, what's up survivors and welcome back to my Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be expanding our little hole here our little um, farm should I say sorry and we're going to add cacti to it we're going to make a cactus farm and this is going to be our last farming thing for a while after we've made cacti um, after we've made a cacti farm there is not going to be a whole lot more to farm uh, there is melon and pumpkin, but we haven't got either of those yet, and they could be a bit of a hole to find, because uh, you find them in abandoned mine shafts. Well, certainly melons anyway. Pumpkins you can find occasionally dotted about the landscape, but I'm going to do them together, probably when we found them in an abandoned mine shaft. And the only other farmable item in the game at the moment is nether warp. And nether wart can only be accessed by going to the nether. And we've not been there yet, and it'll be a while. So we're going to head over to the desert to collect some cacti. The sun is rising, which is nice to know. And there is a desert just the other side of the swamp, over this side. And once we've done that, I think we will... Well, I haven't got much of a clue yet what I intend to do. Um, we may well go ahead and go back underground um, obviously we've got a bit more iron now um, we may go more iron hunting and we may start looking at tackling those dungeons mm -hmm. well there's more sugar cane here and I didn't even know it um, yeah so that is kind of what's on the agenda next I'm just going to swim across this bit as you can see there's a cacti in the distance um, they're just over there So we can go over there and check that out. Here is a desert. And those little tall green things are cacti. Out of sheep. Nope, not after you today. You're on the good side of the law this time. <laughs> um, so here are cacti. Cacti are only found in deserts. Though you can grow them elsewhere. So... To collect cacti, you can leave them growing in the environment by just collecting the second one and leaving the bottom one. Now, if you walk into a cacti, you will take damage. Like that. Which is unpleasant, so try and avoid walking into them where possible. They also damage mobs as well. So, ow. <laughs> so, um, you can actually use these to make defences if you wish. Um, well, it's midday. I'm going to explore this desert a bit while we're here. You we might as well. I'll look out how it's just the other side of the swamp. Um, I don't know what's in this desert, quite frankly. Deserts are a hostile place to be at night. Um, if you um, are for near a, a desert at night, it's probably best to get away from it. A lot of monsters spawn in these things. But there are also some cool things that do actually spawn in deserts. Um, NPC villagers can spawn in a desert. Uh, also these really cool things called a desert temple. And uh, desert temples hold goodies and they can hold something which we are looking for. Diamond. Now I don't know how far this desert extends on so I can't imagine it being too far as there's a large lake there. Um, I'll keep collecting cacti. I don't think there's actually any sort of tool to collecting cacti. You can just use your fist for that, to be absolutely honest. It doesn't really matter what tool you're using. Um, yeah, okay. We've got like a river here. Dividing up the landscape. I wouldn't recommend, obviously, like I said, going out here at night. There are far better biomes to hunt in than this. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a whole lot here. But we've still got a bit of time yet. I do hear a zombie. There may be a cave nearby. And also, deserts often play host to surface dungeons. Where the dungeon is actually generated. Because of the way a desert is generated, it's generated fairly low to the ground. You can actually find dungeons at surface level in a desert. And surface level dungeons are pretty cool. But uh, they're difficult to make a mob trap out of, quite frankly. They are very difficult. 
to make a mob trap. Looks like we've reached the end of the desert, this side. There's more generating that way. Um, yeah, so these are a desert. I was kind of hoping for an NPC village or something here, but maybe not. Not all of them have deserts or temples. So you don't, don't automatically expect that there will be one. A forest on the other side here. It's not like every desert or every plains biome has a village. So if you, uh, well, we have this forest biome here. What time is it? So I'm beginning to set, so we may well run home now. That may well be the thing to do. Oh, I see wheat. That means there is an NPC village here. Rhinus the forest, how about that? Uh, NPC villages are used now for trading. These dudes will trade with you, which we will look at in a later tutorial. But they offer something that I would like right now. And that is wheat. Yeah, cows over here as well. You can stay here for the night if you want, um, but it's probably not the best thing to do. These dudes are prone to being attacked by villagers, so unless you've got a bed... I would probably recommend against staying here, which I have not got a bed. There are no sheep nearby, but that's that, isn't it, really? I mean, sure, you could sit here in a house and wait out the night if you wanted. But as I say, I'd probably advise against that. Hello, chap. Sorry for disturbing you. Um, so, yeah, let's go and head home now. Remember where that is um, for a later tutorial. We may even visit the NPC in the next episode, actually. And I'll show you how to trade with those guys. They may be offering some good items that we can uh, actually have. Um, I don't think they trade diamond with you. Or if they did, they'd want something rather expensive in return. Maybe something like four emeralds or something. But hey-ho, that's uh, what these dudes are like. They're, uh, they're a bit of a con artist, to be absolutely honest. Uh, the villagers are. They, they like to get their money's worth out of you, put it that way. Mm. So we've got seven cacti. I don't think, think I really want any more. Though I guess I could get ten as I'm heading back this way now. Let's grab that piece of cacti. Here's the river that we passed. That was about halfway. So we're doing fairly well actually. This uh, desert is not the biggest desert I've ever come across. Deserts can be one of those biomes where they can be pretty massive. Um, quite frankly, I've seen some pretty massive deserts in my time playing Minecraft, as well as massive tundra biomes. Tundra are some of the biggest biomes I've ever seen. Some entire Minecraftian continents are built up out of tundra biomes, which make it very difficult to start, quite frankly, because there are hardly any trees. Certainly in some of the older versions there were no trees. Which made it very, very hard to survive. You had to find um, a way of going on without wood. And that was kind of difficult. Well, here's the swamp. Uh, this, this is the, some more towards where my spawn is. If anything, this is more where my spawn is. There's a pumpkin. Uh, these are pumpkins. Um, we will collect them, but we won't use anything. We won't do anything with them yet. You can use your axe to collect a pumpkin, and they come as a whole thing. There's a number of things you can do with pumpkins, but we won't be looking at what you can actually do with pumpkins just quite yet. Uh, we will look at pumpkins when we find melons. Um, and melons and pumpkins are a pretty unique thing, and it's getting dark, and I don't like it. It's going to be quite late. I could make an emergency stop at my hidey hole. But that would mean staying the night. I really should have brought my bed with me. And I haven't got any shears with me either. So I couldn't shear any sheep anyway, even if I wanted to. So, it's going to be on the lookout for creatures of the night. There's a creeper. I want to steer clear of him. Anybody around my hidey hole? Oh, hi. Let's 
get rid of you. Don't really know how far away we are from home now. Forests make it difficult to jump. Well, here's my little hidey hole. There's my farm. Wow, it looks nice at night. Oh, God. Hello. Wow, yeah, it does really look nice at night. All lit up. Who's making a racket up here? Nobody atop my mighty hill. Uh, okay, so yeah, we collected cacti and we found an NPC village. Um, we will look at that in the next episode. I will probably bring a bed with me for that, quite frankly. I've got two here, actually, in the lookout tower. So, um, we're going to need sand for cacti. I have some sand. Oh, I've got quite a bit of sand, actually. This is, this is good news. Very good. Going to have to be a bit wary. Wow, everything's burning up. Oh, wow. A lot of creatures survived this harsh night. Well, they certainly know where it came when day arrived. <laughs> anyway, uh, farming, yeah. Uh, we're going to do, obviously, make the cactus farm now. I sp did spruce up the cocoa bean farm a bit from the last episode. Uh, it was kind of a bit chopped up, really. I'm going to have to move my infinite water spring now. Uh, so let's get the buckets out. Because I'm going to have to uh, move this, unfortunately. Wow, I think there's some sort of bug there. If you right-click on water, you get three. But if you click on one, it instantly disappears. Um, that's perhaps something for Mojang to check out. I'm going to make my infinite water spring over here as soon as I got rid of this skeleton. Don't like him chilling down there. I don't know, let's just make it here. Let's make the infinite water spring. Cacti do not need any form of water to grow, by the way. Uh, you may have noticed in the desert they didn't have any water. They don't have any water here. Um, they, they don't need it, to be quite frank. They really don't need it. So let's pick up these, because these are also in the way. Um, we're going to need cobble. I've got not a whole lot of cobble. Um, why don't we do this then? Um, so how wide did I make this? One, two, three, four, five, including the cobble. So we're going to want one, two, three, four, five here. I've got wooden planks. That's handy. So there was just three rows in the middle and uh, we're going to dig some out for the sand I'm just going to make it as long as what this is for neatness really and the row after this is where you go round um, okay so let's get the sand out and just right click to pop the sand down as we have done with the sugarcane farm previously um, and we will do another row here that's terrible shovel broke Uh, as I say, I always spruce these up off episode. It doesn't have to be uh, off camera, sorry. It doesn't have to be the neatest thing in the world. It just has to work. And that's good enough for me. Hang on a moment. I'm, I'm Steve. That's not right. Uh, my internet must have uh, cut off on me during that. Because I'm now Steve. I'm not meant to be Steve. I'm meant to be Mr. M. Fretwell. Uh, yeah, that's that's weird. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I just noticed the brown hand and I was like, what? That's not me. Anyway, cacti. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Right click to place the cacti down. Just like that. And they will grow and you can just harvest them. That is just basically cacti farm. That they will just grow regardless of whether there's water nearby or not, as I've said. And we have now done all of this. I will probably put a fence around this. Remember, don't walk into them. Oh, nearly walked into one there. And, yeah. Um, obviously, there'll be a wooden path here. Then I'll bring this round. Pop that down like that. And then, obviously, this will come back across to the main fence. I don't know why I'm doing this now. I'll spruce it all up off camera. But, uh, yeah, this is how you make a cacti farm. And they'll just grow to two, and you can just harvest them, much like you can other crops. And, yeah, that's everything you'll need to know on cacti. Um, I'll probably do a bit of farm harvesting soon. Um, we still have to do animal farming yet, but uh, that's not quite going to be just yet. We've got a few other things to do first. And in the next episode, we're going to be checking out the NPC village over in the desert that we found in this episode and seeing what those guys have to offer. You never know, one of them may have melon seeds to offer. But I highly doubt it. I don't think that trade is possible. But anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. If you have, a like or a subscribe is always appreciated. I, know, I, I just don't like the fact that I'm Steve. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, I hope you found it useful, and I hope to see you next time. And until then, see you later, and have a good day.